Hey, what's up? How you guys doing out there? It's me, Elric, once again here on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel to bring you guys an unboxing. Now, you guys should know I'm pretty lucky. I live in the city of industry in California, and whenever I want products, I pretty much just like travel around and go door to door. That's what I do. I go knocking. I'm like, hey, what do you got? So that said, I shot over to Thermaltake today, and I was bugging my friend Ransom. I'm like, hey, bro, come on. CES was just here. What in the fuck do you got for me to review, dog? Come on, CES, you know, hook a brother up. So that said, he was like, oh man, I got some stuff, but it hasn't quite at the American market yet. But I'm like, hey, whatever, I want it. So I'm like in there trying to snake as much stuff. So this time I got something actually really cool. Check it out, man. This is the Theron Gaming RTS mouse. Some really cool feature off the bat. It has from zero to 5600 DPI, I believe. Maybe higher, it might be 5900. But I'm thinking zero to 5600, since it does it on the fly, you can instantly change it. It has multi-sensors on the bottom of it. And this thing has a bunch of different things. It has like battle mode and all these other crazy modes. What does it say right here? We've got battle mode, function block button mode, 128 kilobytes of onboard memory, and it says it has multi-color stuff. So it's pretty cool stuff. I mean, you can see this right here. But that said, let's go ahead and let's jump right in and let's do the very first unboxing of the new Thermaltake Theron Gaming Mouse. Okay, so let's jump right in, check it out. It says it is the Theron RTS Gaming Battle Ready. Stim your gaming experience. Like I said before, function, lock button, battle mode, 128 kilobytes of onboard memory, multicolor. I'm gonna go ahead and pop open the top here. We'll go with some of their features it says right here. It says on the fly sensitivity, multi-level resolutions from 100 to 5600 DPI. So I was correct. Beneath side light change by clicking frequently during battle mode. So you can change like the colors even when you're doing stuff. It says pause break lighting system on logo to engage gaming atmosphere. So I guess this thing blinks and stuff cause a little, you know, trippy the mind. Powerful 5600 DPI laser engine that can be used on most surfaces. Has a, a pulling pull rate switch button between 125, 500, and 1,000 cycles. I don't know exactly what that means, but it's probably pretty damn cool. I'll have to look into it. It says weight and design to get the perfect feel for mouse movement. It stores up to 45 macro keys within five game profiles has a function lock button that can disable the functions of side buttons and you also have the Theron customized GUI. This is software that you install so you can customize and go into your mouse. I know you guys like a lot of information in the unboxings so that's basically all the shiznick that's about it. That said, let me go ahead and begin the unboxing. I'll start up by here, once again making a couple professional incisions. Don't try this at folks at home. This is dangerous. I have a sharp knife here. Watch it, careful! Ho! Oh! Okay, he is successful. We should now put away the blade and begin the unboxing. We'll start off right here by popping the old top of the cap here. Capping it off here, getting a little plastic thing that you hang on the shelf here. This is for shelves to hang on, as you guys know. Let's go ahead and pop this out. Oh, by the way, just real quick, I'm going to show you guys in the back of this thing. I guess the Theron is about this guy, so I should probably mention this in the unboxing. It's probably important. I don't know if you guys can zoom in and see that. TT Apollo Softball, oh, excuse me, TT Apollo's Softball Taiwan, professional StarCraft 2 player from the Taiwan Esports League. It's signed by him, so I guess this is pretty much like his endorsed product. Didn't want to forget that and leave any names out of what's going on here. That said, now that you guys have seen it, let's move the frack on and get back in unboxing the thing. So, here it is in its packaging. Nice and plastic and shiny. Lots of glare there to get in the cameraman's eyes. They just love that shit. We got a bag right here. This is a multi-purpose bag. It can be used to either store your mouse or put other goodies in there. Hopefully none that the police will arrest you for. You know, hopefully not. We put that down there. That's number one. Then we've got the Challenge the Game software. Like we said before, remember there is a GUI that's installed, so there will be drivers for this product. Set that down there. Get the knife out of the way. Then last but not least, we have the mouse itself. We're going to pull this little bad boy out. And get it added over here. Okay, so now that we're focusing in this area, you guys can see we got a sliding button right here. We've got additional control right here. On this side, we have a single button. There's a light right here on this side as well. They said this lights up also. By the way, a lot of the new cases have this really custom rubber feel on it that's really nice. This mouse includes that same custom rubber feel. It's really nice. It feels really slick in my hand. 
Then we have on this side, this is going to be on your basically your right thumb button. You have two buttons here, an additional light here. All really cool stuff. We're going to pop it around to the bottom. Remember we said it had multiple sensors. As you see here on most mice that you see commonly, they have one sensor. This one has multi sensors around it. So it's going to be able to be actually more accurate. Having multi sensors sending more area is going to actually make the mouse perform much better. And I don't really know why they're so for RTS. For me, this thing's going to be really for first person shooters. So you can get that headshot and kill a motherfucker. But I mean, that's just me. But anyways, this is the Thermaltake Theron RTS gaming mouse. This is the unboxing. You're watching Tech of Tomorrow, and I'll see you lads back here later.